Yo, what's going on YouTube? Ezum here and I'm back with something new, something to refresh my skills in programming, coding, or whatever you want to call it, and to basically see what I could do. Now, by what I mean is uh, find a random game on Steam on my own free time and recreate it at least in within 30 minute period. Now, these games will probably be basic enough and I'll only do the basics, uh, like the basic mechanics at least. And I'll throw it up on GitHub so everyone can have access to it. But before I get started, make sure you hit that like button and sub for more. Also, I am creating a game, and it's called Dwarves Mining Idol, which you can already see. It's already on Steam, but it's coming soon. And I'll throw that in the description below. Now, first off, I did, uh, like I said, I will pick a game, and I did. So, so I picked Greed and Grind, and it seemed like a really basic game. So I'll play it and write down some notes. All right, so there's music, of course. I'm not going to do that. New game, continue, quit. So the basics, uh, main menu. Uh, I was going to write menu main. Main menu, new game, continue, basic. I guess basic saving, quit, full screen, and mute. All right, so saving. I'll add saving to the list here. Uh, slash loading. I guess I could do that. No big deal. Uh, new game. Overwrite. I'm not really sure why they have overwrite, but okay. Uh, all of them have 100 HP. So three times damage. Uh, this dodge three times. I don't know what that ability is. Um, okay. So attack, defense, resistance. Okay. So players have. You get a choice. Choice of three. Of three, I guess, heroes. Um, attack. Defense. Resist. Um, each with a different perk, I guess. Um, knight. Archer. Mage. Knight equals three times damage. Um, Archer equals dodge. We'll do the dodge and three times. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, mage equals three times. I don't know. I don't understand what the, the three times of uh, the mage is, but we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see. Actually, we'll choose mage. All right. So, uh, we got, we're in a new scene and unlock at stage 100. So we have exit help um, unlock at stage 100 click the final castle to go inside okay uh, click the final castle to go inside um, castle I guess <laughs> with the portal <laughs> it's so small here let me exit go full screen there we go but the problem is I won't be able to do what I want to do. Uh, click. Forge stats ascend skills. Holy balls. This is crazy. All right. So. What was it? Forge. Stats. Ascend. Skills. So we'll just get the basic. Uh, we'll just get the basic stuff written up here. Um. Uh, gold, stones, rubies. Your gold. I have zero gold, so I'm not really gonna mess with that too much. Stats. A sin. All right. So this seems, seems like a little kind of idlers. Oh, it's essence. Is that what that is? It's essence. And okay. All right. Well, ah, we clicked the portal. Okay. Uh, I'll write that down. Uh, portal goes to enemies. <laughs> um, swap. I don't know what that is. Okay. That seems very basic. All right. It auto attacks. Yes. So it, there's auto attack. So that wouldn't be too, too bad. Um, okay. So we just keep going up until we're dead, right? All right. 
Well, now we have three essence. Uh, how much gold? One gold. So one gold per kill. <laughs> Uh, one gold per kill. Um, see player, enemy, HP, HP. Right, let's have another look at this real quick. Uh, Solis. So we have essence times three. Okay. Level. Oh, wow. We just started the boss. That's stage one complete, I guess? Bro, why am I not dying? Holy. What the hell is this, man? We just beat the boss. Oh, and now we we're dead. Okay, so... That seems uh all what I need to know, I guess. So we'll just do the basics, as I said. All right, so we are loaded up here and I'm going to immediately create scripts folder, scripts, and in the assets, I'm also going to create resources. That way everything's separated. And I'm going to head to the Unity store, which I've uh, actually found some pretty good, uh, the Hero Knight. Um, I'm not going to do all three classes. I'm just going to do the Knight, which uh, this one seems pretty cool. Um, so all I gotta do is add in my assets, accept, and it's free. So, you know, it's not like there's gonna be a problem with that. Uh, open in unity and it's called that. So I'll download it, import. Okay. Import all, everything pretty much. Hopefully it's all done pretty well and it's updated to 2023, uh, version. If not, we're screwed and we'll just have to use the bare bones. Uh, go back and bandits. Okay. So there's two bandits here. They seem to pre be pretty cool as well. Same, uh, probably developer, but, uh, I'll take those two and open in unity bandits. Where are you at? Oh, we're already on it. Download import, uh, animation. Okay. So. I'm going to go into resources and I'm going to create a folder called hero and I'm going to move that the hero to, to there. Don't mind the explosions. We are under, uh, well, it's 4th of July. I was going to say we're under attack, but I don't know why I was going to say that, uh, bandits, um, enemy, uh, make that enemies and then, uh, bandits. Okay, I'll move that to bandits now. Uh, you can't see because of the camera. Hell yeah. Uh, I'll try to move the camera a little bit. Um, well, somewhere else. Okay, whoops, that's my bad. But anyway, it's you know, just folder structure. Okay, so create scripts. We need player script. And okay, hurry up. Um, I'm going to create a uh, save. Uh, we'll, call, we'll call it um, save load, I guess. <laughs> and all right, and then we'll create our. I guess we technically don't need a game manager, do we? Uh, we'll see in a, a few seconds. All right, so I'm at the first scene, which is called main menu. So I double click it, and let's see what we got on main menu is new game, continue, quit. All right, so gonna create so during this portion I just decided to fast forward it because all I'm doing is creating the main menu the entirety of the UI and the different scenes that the game had and I didn't feel like it was uh, super important to include which I included anyway but it cost me a lot of time to do it so I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward this and yeah it's uh, like I said I'm putting this on github anyway so you, it's not like you're missing out on anything Ex spectacular all all these um, all the main menu is, is just loading another scene within another so scene, so it's all good. Okay, for a simple enemy class, I'm just gonna write it in here. Public class enemy. We're just gonna do public float, or public int health, public int. 
max health, public int damage, public int defense, and that'll be pretty much it. And then I'll do public static uh, list enemy. I don't know why you're not adding the list, but sure. Okay. Enemies. Do enemies equals new. Return. And for the object, I'll do resources.load game object path. It's going to be resources slash what was it? Actually, it wouldn't be resources. It'd be enemies. Uh, bandit, bandits. Do demo slash. Do heavy bandit. Easy as pie. And okay for the spawn, we'll do new vector three. Uh. I have no idea where it's going to be at. So the best thing I could possibly do is spot it myself and see the position. Scenes play. Well, actually, I can't really do that, can I? Eh, I can. All right, so position will be what, four minus three point. Whoa, 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 whoa. Four minus three point five. All right. Whoops. And then rotation. Because it'll be in the game scene itself not the UI it'd be here and but within the game scene okay so that is done it should spawn the enemy um the player should already be there so we'll just go I'll just go ahead and add the player uh where is he at hero um, I'm not sure why they added a rigid body. So I'm going to delete that and disable the script. Make it big. Boom. Holy. Okay, make it a little bit smaller. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Hey, right, look at that. Perfect. So that'll be like that. Spawn enemy. Okay, so oh what? Psh. I can get rid of that, I guess. Uh, I'll just spawn the basic enemy, the heavy bandit, and that'll be okay. That'll be that. And stage. So what I'll do is public enemy. That way, it'd be a lot easier to set the values. That's not right. And then defense equals defense. Perfect. That's what I want to do instead. Just make it really basic. Okay, I don't even know what I was thinking to be honest. All right, uh, if 
C'est... Um, okay, so... Player data, player data. We'll just do this and I'll do player data equals save load dot player data. Okay, that'll be a lot easier to handle. So if player data dot health is greater than re is greater than zero. Um which means we're not dead. And if enemy.health is greater than zero, And then we'll go ahead and attack. So player data dot, well, actually enemy health minus equals player data dot damage. Okay. And then player data dot health minus equals enemy dot damage. All right. So with that being said, we got to do our if checks. If enemy.health is less than or equal to zero, then you're dead. Enemy health. Uh, we'll go ahead and make it 100. Well, enemy.maxhealth equals enemy.maxhealth plus 10. Enemy.health equals enemy.maxhealth. And enemy dot damage equal or we'll do plus equals one player data dot gold we'll just do plus plus which I could just do plus plus on that one too player data dot essence plus plus player data dot step plus plus player data dot stage plus plus well if player data dot step equals three then player data dot stage stage plus plus player data dot step equals zero one I mean uh now Actually, I won't take the the. I won't do the enemy first. We'll do. We'll uh, give the player benefit of the doubt. <laughs> if player data dot health is less than or equal to zero, you die, my trucker. Um. Was it three? I think it was three. Or two. Zero, one. Oh, it was two. Okay. Well, they died, so. End of story. <laughs> and everything pretty much resets. Uh. Let's we'll do player data equals null. All right. Now, before I do that, 
Let me go ahead and do this for the enemy too. See enemy wrecked. Enemy. 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 All right, time to press play, but not on this scene. Boom. Okay, new game. Attack 10. We got an error. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I can actually make sure that Bull is uh, play loaded. Actually, make sure it's play loaded. It's true. If not, play return. That way, it doesn't error. Uh, that's also going to do that. So we'll do is play loaded equals false here too. Just had to think about that real quick. I was like, oh, wait a minute. Choose portal. Oh no, they're so small. <laughs> it's so small. Um, uh, I'll just do the X. That's a my bad. All right, so do the same thing here. All right. Well, that's not right. Actually, what is the width of that? Or not the width, the uh <laughs> I'm just having brain farts, man. It's 32, not 50. Oh my god. What am I doing with my life? There we go. That's nope. I did not mean to do that. There we go. Got the animations rolling though. Look at that. So they are attacking each other. Problem is, uh, I don't think the panel is 350. Oh, it's 350. <laughs> That's fine. It's actually the width of the, uh, it's the actual width of the thing, but it's, that's whatever. That, that'll be fine. Come on. I'm winning. Let's go. You can't kill this. Yeah. What's up? He needs to go down a little bit more, but that's whatever. Ah. Uh. Boom! I win! Woo! My goal didn't go up because I, did, I forgot to do the text. Whoops. Uh, I died. 
Ah, I died. Easy peasy. Okay, so gold text that text um, equals string dot format gold player data dot gold and then I'll just do essence text essence and then what was the other one level oh the level what do you know uh five level text if play data level equals play data max whoa there no max level I guess I'll just do five and player data level oh it's experience oh well that's a rip the most basic thing I could have added there we go <clears throat> okay so I'll just do this which it's gonna be a little bit bigger that's fine not much bigger exp plus plus Alrighty, so do level plus plus player data dot exp equals zero. All right, so I'm going to increase our damage to 15. Uh, I'm going to save it every time it does it. So save load dot save. All right. New game, choose portal. Save data. It's saving it. Boom. Boom. We're owning. Okay, I forgot about the steps. I'm just forgetting about everything. Uh, text. Uh -huh. Oh, that would have most definitely thrown an error. All right. Step. Easy. Stage. Well, that actually steps. Yeah. I'll just put step down here that way. And then I'll just put stage down there too. Easy. PZ lemon squeezy. All right. So I'll be able, it's just a lot easier to do it all in game manager right now. Uh, it loaded the game data. <laughs> but since it loaded it, enemy is null. Actually, that's impossible. Player data. Um actually make sure it saved it saved it so I'm gonna run app data It'll be called default company um, go
green and grind recreation save dot save it didn't actually save anything oh that's probably why it called it serialize it did serialize field which is not what I wanted that's probably why Okay. Recreate it. So what happens if we get stuck here? And then we got to save. Well. Boom, boom. Boom. Everything updated. All right. So what happens? We got to reload the data, right? Oh, no. Well, I died because <laughs> the data was, it didn't, it didn't load it right. Max health, zero, damage is zero. What the hell? Okay, so I probably, uh, I knew what's going on. Ooh, save load, uh, player data equals play data. Just got to update it. That's what. All right. Choose portal. Boom. Boom. Oh, no. My game crash. Oh, my save. No, Mamma Mia. Boom. Yeah. The problem is I forgot to do the UI update on the save and update all the uh, the UI stuff. So, I mean, it works. Health is 66. Max health is 100. Damage is 15. It works. It just, I just didn't update the UI. That's that's literally it. So, saving works. Um, I don't really have to type in con or press continue to continue a game unless I have multiple saves, but... Um, I got the basics done. Everything is pretty much done. And that is pretty much what I was going for. Um, yeah, this is pretty much what I was going for. So, like I said, really basic. Nothing is uh, as what it seems. But, hey, I got it working. And that's all we needed to know. Pretty, it's really basic. I mean, I mean what more do you want? It's a, it's a pretty basic game. It reminds me of Soda Dungeon, actually. But... Without further ado, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to, hit that like button and sub for more. And I will try to find out more basic games to do. And I felt like I kind of went too long on this one. Um, I'll, make, I'll make sure to keep it shorter next time. I have to do every little thing. But I think next time what I'll do is just the game mechanics itself and do that only. Just not do the main menu, this and this menu, this menu. I'll just do the end of it and then that's it. But... I had fun. I had fun doing it. My, uh, I had fun testing my abilities and whatnot. But anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.